This is a short story about an amazingly long journey. Obviously, this is a crab, and not surprisingly, called a red crab. But what is amazing is it cannot breathe underwater or hold its breath for very long. It is a land crab, and except for this one very brief moment, lives its life on the ground in the Christmas Island rainforest. Any weakness or lack of concentration now, the slightest mistake, and it will be pulled into deeper water and drown. One crab dancing like this would almost be insignificant. But because 10 million or more have taken this epic journey to get to the water's edge, sheer numbers demand that humans take notice. These crabs do not respect human property. They just need to get to the beach as quick as possible. Anywhere cool and sheltered makes a perfect resting place. red crabs, or females, are here to risk it all and deposit their eggs in the sea. Some of these crabs could be 30 years old, but only reach sexual maturity after five years. Watching these crabs doing their little shimmy dance to release their eggs is a sight to wonder at. Amazingly, some of these eggs and hatching larvae eventually feed some of the biggest animals in the sea, whale sharks. Unfortunately, a few don't make it back to the rainforest or even the beach. Some drown after losing their grip on the rocks. But millions do, and the next morning sees more arriving. This red crab migration is becoming a big tourist attraction. But many locals who have seen this many times must wonder what all the fuss is really about. During this migration, it's easy to get up and close with these crabs. They can be seen behaving naturally everywhere. Some seem to be feeding all the time, and many don't seem to be too fussy. Crabs need moisture to survive, and many will source their fluids from the shallow creeks. Here red crabs can be seen mixing with blue crabs and coconut crabs.
although the red crab is the dominant land crab species on the island, all crabs play a significant role on the forest floor, converting leaf litter into useful nutrients for the soil, just like garden worms do. To minimise road deaths of the crabs during the migration to and from the water, some roads are blocked from traffic. When they're not blocked, car drivers can be seen doing their bit to reduce the road toll. <laughs>